I, I've heard both camps, right? I've heard camps say he's basically the Marvin Jones replacement. You kind of put him in that slot and you move on. And then I heard, well, people got to be fearful now because he's here to take snaps from J-Mo, and that was the reason that they went out and got him and stuff like that. I don't know how much I buy that one, per se, because, again, when you're the number 12 overall pick and you have a first-round NFL draft pick contract, you're playing. Anybody ever look at it like he's bringing them in to help him? A guy who knows how to stretch the field might uh, obviously challenge him. We're, they're professionals, so they are going to challenge him to, to for catches and stuff like this. I think what Dan Campbell and Ben Johnson is just want a guy that will catch the ball, right? So maybe it's something like I look at it, it's not as a competition that – Peoples Jones comes in and he's been there. He's done that in this league. Maybe he can add some knowledge and and help, you know, Williams progress along a little bit quicker. So, the number one, it's it's a spot. Uh, listen to the coach. What did Dan Campbell said that they were they were one receiver going down away from it being critical. Okay, self awareness to we need to put this in now. What are the attributes of Donovan Peoples Jones going to add? Well, he's going to be able to stretch the field. So I don't care. Who, what name on the back of the jersey is stretching the field, catching the ball, as long as somebody's downfield catching the ball? Right. And and look, I, I don't think it was – and and that's what people, I think, and, almost and want it to be. Here's the, con- here's the combination the conversation extension to yesterday, right, about looking into what you have. So then that tells me, right, that Brad Holmes said that Antoine Green and Drummond and these guys that could step up to this next level – aren't where the team wants them to be. So they have to go out and add a veteran. 